I didn't, I forgot to introduce myself, and that what I, that's what I do every service I do or any place I work. My name is Reverend Robert Johnstone. I'm a Canadian, and I'm due back in Canada this week. They might be looking for me. <laughs> <laughs> And it's such a joy to stand here. I, I wish you could have felt how I felt during that meditation because I, I don't say that I'm better than anybody else, but I just felt I was with, with me and, and everyone here. The energy is so profound. You have to stand here to appreciate it. And each one of you could stand here and do this if I can do it. That's what I'd like you to see today. That if this guy can get up there and tumble his way through it, you can all do it. And like the other guy here. <laughs> so, it's, it's my pleasure this morning to introduce a very dear friend, and uh, I've learned a lot about friendship by being with him this past year, about how we tolerate one another, and how, <laughs> how a good relation is founded, and I have that with Steve, and I have that with the Saturday morning crowd, but I, I've learned a lot because I spend probably eight hours of every day with this guy. And he's a Sagittarius, he gets very impatient. That computer has to work the way he says it is, or it's not working. And that's, uh, so I have to sit and listen to that when it doesn't work properly. But here's a real gentleman, a man who supports, a man who has many students throughout the country. And uh, he takes very good care of people when they come in. Uh, his, his healing powers, I've experienced some very strong things that he's experienced with people in Casadega over the, over the past year. Uh, his teachings, he's got a whole drawer full of I think a whole filing cabinet, is that right? He's carried them for 30 years. He can go to the dentist and of any subject than teaching. And he does that. But, but a week ago he had a seminar and I thought, oh, this guy is, you know, he's got too much going on for three days. And everybody who went, receive something from that we can retreat and it's wonderful so he comes out of upstate new york which so many of us have uh, around the uh lilydale area i guess he developed most of his spirituality there i uh, went to california where he was a chiropractor for the stars finally he made his way to casadega he's been in out of casadega over the years as, as we all do sometimes traveling there sometimes in and out of it but he's managed to stay and work with all of us, and I'm very proud to announce Dr. James W. Thomas as being our guest speaker today. Thank you. Well, you're going to thank me because I did all the work today. <laughs> Make us laugh. Make us laugh. Make it. Get your money up. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't started yet, Bob. I've got to take this off. Is it on here? Oh, well, I can do it now. Thank you, servant. Anybody want it? <laughs> Giving honor to our pastor, especially the Reverend Steve, and to all of you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Holy Week. And I must say that because it is the beginning of Holy Week. And we started off with certain things and we got together and that. And uh, so I want to begin with Zechariah. Zechariah, 480 years before the Christ, as we know the Christ, ever made his appearance into Jerusalem, it was said, Rejoice, O divine daughter of Zion. Shout, daughters of Jerusalem. See your king come to you. Righteousness and having salvation, gentle and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the fault of a donkey. This was predicted 470 years before the Christ ever decided to make his manifestation into Jerusalem. 
So, we all know the story of him coming into Jerusalem, riding on a donkey. And I kept looking, why are the palms so important? Why, why about the palms? And uh, what it was, was the crowds of people that gathered to see this holy man, who they called the Messiah, coming into Jerusalem. And as he did so, they people gathered and put palms down for that donkey to walk on. Not for Jesus, but for the donkey. I said to myself, I said, isn't that unusual? You think they would have put him down for him to walk on? But it's the representation of this holy man walking very humbly on a donkey. And in so doing, everything about this whole scenario metaphysically speaking, was all prophesied long before any of this ever happened. And I feel strongly that it was all preordained. It was all laid out for us, for humanity, to come into another enlightenment. And the big enlightenment is, is that you and every one of us picked our own parents before we ever <laughs> manifested into this earthly life. Everything that's ever happened in your lifetime, since you were born, has been a lesson. It's all been a soul growth. The loss of a husband the loss of a wife, the loss of a lover, whatever a loss was, a loss of a child. Think about all those things. Think about all the, the disasters that have happened. The earthquakes, the tsunamis, everything has been preordained. There is nothing taken by chance. God had his plan made out for all of us. And it's how we perceive those energies. We can accept them. Ronnie brought about the family situation, the love. I've always said, even when I was a pastor in Casadega, that was a fun time in my life, thanks to Ronnie and a few other people, that we built up a congregation, and it was very loving. And on the way over this morning, I was thinking, and Bob and I were talking, and that everything that happens and I will go back to some scenarios, is that we all have something inside of us at some time or another that somebody's done something to us, correct? Is there anybody here that has never had any, somebody that hasn't done something to us? Oh, great. <laughs> Should we get out the holy water now and bless them? But, thoughts. And what happens is, no matter what the thought is, whether it's you don't like somebody, somebody's done something to you, you've asked for forgiveness, but yet you have created a thought form. These thought forms go out into the universe and then come back and materialize. So, before next Sunday, because I'm going to be the chairperson, 
Our dear pastor is deserting us. <laughs> because he's had another calling back to his old spiritual church in Casadega. But that's okay. If every one of us would take five minutes a day, sit still, and think about this church. Think how blessed we are, number one, to have somebody who went out on a limb and said, I'm going to start a church. Steve forgets that this was already preordained because he was, a min he was the pastor in Casadega at one time, and he knows how to act as a pastor, all right? But this was already preordained with all the turmoil that he went through in his life growing up, all the thought forms and everything else that was put out there, and that, but the thought form that created this was Steve and a few other people that brought this place into manifestation. Just like Jesus, when he walked in, the money changers, that was all preordained. The woman that came up and touched the hem of his garment, and she was healed. That was all preordained. We have to look at our own lives and say, how does everything fall into our scenario? We've all gone through good, bad, and a lot of indifferences. Our thought patterns from when we were this high have changed to where we are today in this life. Our religious beliefs have changed. Whether you realize it or not, otherwise you would not be here seeking the truth. Because spiritualism and metaphysics go hand in hand and also what happens is is that you're seeking you're seeking the continuity of life and you're trying to bring about certain principles like the golden rule do unto others as you would have them do unto you so if we could all be working on that vibration and the main thing that Jesus brought to us was one big thing that every one of us forget every day of our life. Love one another. How many times during the daytime you see something that doesn't gel with your belief and you put out a negative thought? How many times a day because somebody did something to us and got our feathers raveled? Can I pick on you? Sure. <laughs> <coughs> Steve knows Bob better than I do, I think. But, uh, <coughs> A few weeks ago was uh, last month, the second Sunday, was our gala day in Casadega. And Bob received a bag in the morning of, it was very heavy, didn't know what was in it, but he had been hounding this person since December that they owed him twelve dollars <laughs> so every time he saw this person he says when are you gonna pay me the twelve dollars <laughs> well she started saving up because I've had a conversation with this young lady since then and she says I started saving all my pennies and that until I got twelve dollars worth of pennies 
just to pull a joke out of Bob and say, here is your $12 in pennies. He went ballistic. But I still say that was all preordained someplace in somebody's head that I'm going to get back at Bob by giving him his money, but giving it to him in pennies. So I laughed about it. He didn't. <laughs> I had the weight. I had the weight to take. I had to take that to the bank. That was a heavy load, wasn't it? <laughs> so twelve dollars in pennies was a heavy load for him to take. But what happened was that whole scenario tore down his vibrations for that day, and he, people were saying to him, "You're not on enough vibration." Well, I thought he was up, but you know, Bob's always up in the air someplace about something. But anyways, this is all happens to us, every one of us. And it all comes down to basics. All right? Look at what comes out on the TV. Look at what comes out on the radio. Look at all the negativity that we get every single day bombarded. And, that, and then this here thought form goes out that we don't like the Iranians, we don't like this group of people, we don't like that group of people. But what about if we were to send all these groups of people unconditional love every day? <coughs> Do you think we could help change the planet? <laughs> but, so I'm going to give you each. we got to show up Steve because he's going to disappear next week. <laughs> All right? So I want you to meditate every day on filling these chairs full. And for Easter Sunday, we need to have 75 people in this place. Can we do it? Yeah. Come on! Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right? We got the chairs? We got the chairs. <laughs> we can get the chairs, but we could fill this place up. Because we created, we create a thought form. When I first started out in practice, I had a lot of good teachers in that on how to build a practice. And one was, he says, go home after this seminar, and he says, sit down, and he says, I had just gotten, a, just gotten my license of that, and he says, sit down and program that you want 10 patients a day. And as soon as you hit that 10 patients, then you raise it to more patients. And you put your energy behind it, and you work at it, and you work at it 24-7. And what happens? It comes into manifestation. When I quit my practice, I had 100 patients a day. So you can bring it about. And it all comes through unconditional love. It's the little things that we do. It might be sending a card. It might be sending a birthday card. It might be sending a get well card. Whatever it means to help us grow spiritually. Now Jesus, as you know, went through all the trials and tribulations and that. And the other thing that he tried to bring about was peace. And my peace I give to you, he would say, always talking about peacefulness and love. And if we could become a very peaceful soul, then all these things would work in time and on time. This being Holy Week, uh, we start today. This coming Thursday is the Last Supper. We all know about the Last Supper. And then it goes into everything else, his, his uh, crucifixion. 
his risen rising up next Sunday but there's also something else that's happening we have this week a very powerful full moon it's called the full moon of the Christ and this is when a tremendous amount of the Christ energies are pouring forth down to you if you're willing to receive that energy and open up your heart center the resurrection is only opening up your heart all right the whole purpose of this is this energy that we've all been feeling and that of all the flux that's been going on all the disharmony everything that Everybody's been imbalanced or balanced out. They can't, they're tired, they don't know what's going on. Is because of this energy that's pouring forth. The planets that are lined up. So, take the time to sit and absorb this energy and feel it flowing through your system and flowing through your body and be rejuvenated. Because Next week is your resurrection. Each one of us, we can have our own resurrection within our own selves. And this is what it takes. But think about creating a thought form that we have 50 people in this place next week and we're gonna show up Casadega. <laughs> Thank you and God bless you. Thank you.